Hey y'all, Joe here from Southern Coastal Cooking. Uh, feeling mighty lucky or mighty blessed uh, this evening because uh, a buddy of mine, a buddy and a neighbor, was fortunate enough to go out about 90 miles out outside of Venice, Louisiana and catch some tuna. Wild caught fresh tuna this past weekend and he's able to give me some fresh tuna. He was nice enough to do that for me. And I tell you, I got here, I'm going to prepare it tonight, but the story was, he said he went out with about six guys, and they went out in the boat, went about 70 so miles out, and they started out on top water. You see the big old 50 pounders just jumping all over the place. So a couple of guys caught him on top water, pulled him in, he said, but it was his time to catch fish. They caught his way down deep, several hundred feet under the water. He said he had to just, just really work that guy in. I mean, he said it took him about at least 45 minutes to get this fish to the boat. You know, just amazing, you know, just, he said, just really falling. He's got, he said he works out and all that stuff. And I mean, just really, he said, wore him out. But he was really nice enough to give me some, some tuna steaks and, and uh, these have never been frozen or anything, just fresh as can be. I'm gonna cook some up tonight for y'all, but I just wanted to share the little backstory with you on what's going on with this. So I'm gonna do a hot sear on them. Let me show you what I'm gonna start out. I will do this. I've got a um, move this around here. Something going on with my stand. All right, got a little ramekin here. We're gonna start off with some of Southern Coastal honey from my dad's hives. Pop this dude open and. Uh, put us a good amount of that in there, you know, good two, you know, about two and a half tablespoons of that Southern Coastal honey. And then I'm going to take a little soy sauce, put a little drop of that, and get this open. A little drip of that soy sauce in there, about probably a teaspoon or two. And then we're going to take, uh, I've got this seasoning here, it's pretty good stuff. Asian sweet ginger garlic, kind of a shape there, and I'll put a little bit of this in there. Um, show y'all. Let's see. Maybe take a baby spoon of this. Something like that. Put that there. And we'll just stir this around. And what this is gonna be is basically our glaze for those tuna steaks. And we're gonna use this here glaze to hold the sesame seeds on. Oh, it's gonna be great, I'm telling you. Oh, one more thing. Put a little wasabi, got some wasabi paste here. And of course, you know this is not real wasabi. This is made with horseradish, you know, you get the real stuff, it's real expensive, but put a little bit of that in there. And uh, stir that in, that's gonna give us a little pop. Right there. And uh, we'll use that to glaze this stuff up with before we uh, roll them basically in the sesame seeds, toasting the sesame seeds there. All right, so here's the fresh tuna. And what I'm gonna do, like I said, I'm gonna do this one piece at a time, I guess. Just kind of paint some of this, this glaze on there like that. And like I said, this glaze is not only gonna be used for helping the uh, sesame seeds stick, but this one has a good flavor to it as well. So. Let's go ahead and get the glaze painted on. Now I have these toasted sesame seeds here. What we're gonna do basically with this is we're just gonna drop the tuna down in that and just get it coated, y'all. Just coat all sides of it with these sesame seeds. And uh, that's, that's gonna make, man, that's gonna give it a wonderful flavor. And that texture, you know, that's what you want with the uh, with tuna, you want to have the sesame seeds on there. So anyway, we got that a good coating there. And then I'm gonna put that back on a, uh, on a cooling rack here. Show you how I'm gonna do it. And just let it hang out like that, okay? As I do the other ones. Now that I got the fish all coated, make a little condiment for when the fish is done. That's a little high quality mayo there. Down here we like to use Dukes or Blue Plate, either one. Uh, get a little bit of the Southern Coastal honey in there, just a kiss of that stuff. You know, like that and then of course you know your wasabi paste whatever but you about like that there and then we'll just stir this up and this is what what you know you'll use this 
do a little bit of drizzle on the fish along with a little bit of sriracha, something like that. Just to give it a little bit of pep, a little bit of heat. That's what we're looking for. Oh yeah, like that. Maybe get a little bit more wasabi. There we go. And a touch, a touch of soy, I think would be good in here. I mean a drop. Oop, that's good. Let's give it that. There it goes. There it goes. Just that little bit of pop. Smell that right there. And I'm going to put this in the refrigerator. Let this chill out. And we'll use this as a flavor enhancer for the tuna. Not that it's really going to need any flavor enhancing. We talked to the guy that called him. He said these are yellow fin. I just wanted to make sure of that. And he caught them. Remember, I said out of Venice on Voodoo Charters. I'm going to include some pictures in this video. Y'all please stick around and see the actual fish. Man, oh man. Watch y'all, so I'm over here in my range. Now I've got a cast iron skillet on and I rubbed it down with peanut oil and just, you know, with a paper towel and wiped the peanut oil out of it. Now what I've got is it's sitting there on high. It's getting ready to get just blazing, smoking hot. That's what we're going to use to sear this tuna on. Now that the pan is starting to smoke just a little bit, that's telling us it's time that you can start putting the tuna on, okay? And that's what we're going to do. We're going to put the first piece on here. We'll take some tongs. We'll just lay it right there in the middle. In 35 seconds, y'all, that's what the, the captain at the Voodoo Charters told Robbie. He said, no more than 35 seconds to side on these steaks. You don't want to burn them. You don't want to cook them all the way through. You just want that wonderful sear on there. That's what I'm talking about. So we're going to go 35 seconds on this side, 35 seconds on the other side. Oh, man, that's going to be good. Look at that. With my phone for a timer. I'm using the microwave here. So we'll go ahead and give it a flip. Look at that. Just sear it off just like that. So that's good. That's what we want to see. About 35 seconds on this side as well. Now I'm going to do it about 10 seconds or so on these sides just to get a little bit there. Man, those, those, uh, Sesame's just, I mean, look at them. They're just searing nicely there. You give that about 10 seconds just to lock all that in. That's what you want to see. And then we'll go up here, look. Look at that. It's like that. You want to do your sides and everything. Oh man, better turn this fan on. We've got to get smoke alarms going. Do this side. Okay. Like I said, you could eat this stuff raw, it's that good. Alright. So now we're going to set this aside over here on my pro tea, my tea cost board. We're going to slice it here in just a minute, okay? Do the other ones. Alright, y'all, look at this gorgeous tuna. That is so nice. So let's cut into a piece of it. Let's see what we got here. Get over here, hopefully, y'all, to where you can, you can see that I cut into it. Let's try it's one of these smaller pieces here first. And we'll just uh, give it a slice, man. That's gorgeous. Look at that. Man, look at that just buttery goodness right there with that tuna. Just slightly seared on the outside. That's what you want to see. Just perfect slices. Oh, yes. Look at that. I'm going to taste this little end piece right here. That's for y'all. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. That is nice. Oh, that flavor is just so subtle. Oh, yeah. That tuna and sesame coming through. Let's plate this up, y'all. What I want to do here is take some of this wasabi mayo that we made. I'm not going to squeeze Bob, but we'll do the best we can with this here. And just, uh, you know, you just deal with what you got. Alright, so we'll just make a line of this wasabi mayo right here through the center. And that'll give us, uh, give us that creamy, but yet with a little bit of spice that we're looking for sometimes. And I've also got some sriracha over here. I don't know, I don't know about that. I'm going to do is take a little sriracha 
You can go down both sides just like that. Put a little line of sriracha sauce. Right to accompany that because I mean that tuna is great with some sriracha. And then I'm going to take uh, some of these little pieces like this. Just want to serve them just alongside here. It's going to make you a little sashimi, almost a little appetizer of this, this wonderful tuna here. Look at that. Look at this piece. It's almost just like a, a fine, fine steak or something. I mean, just the texture of this tuna while I was chewing it, it's like I said, it's just so much better than the stuff I'm used to getting. I mean, it's just fine. So, we got that there with the sauces. I'm going to give this a try, y'all. I hate that. Somebody threw my chopsticks out. So I'm gonna have to try this with a fork. I'd really like to eat stuff like this with chopsticks. So let's get a little bit of wasachi, wasabi mayo, some uh, sriracha sauce on there. <coughs> oh yeah, give it another try, look at that. Mm. <laughs> you can't get that at sushi place. Anyway, that was great y'all. Really super fresh tuna, right down there from Venice, Louisiana. I really appreciate Robbie bringing that from Voodoo Charters, y'all. I'll try to put some links in the thing, maybe for Voodoo Charters or something like that. So you can go down there and catch your own tuna. Man, great. He said the guy was great, all that good stuff. Took him right to the fish. So anyway, um, y'all check this out. It's how you see you up some wonderful yellow tail right there. Yellow fin tuna. Mm -mm -mm. Delicious, y'all. Thanks again. I'm going to put the pictures from the fishing trip right after this, y'all. Well, anyway, y'all, yeah, that tuna is outstanding. It was, uh, you know, I just I couldn't get over the texture. You know, I guess it's just fresh, never frozen, how it just uh, seemed to just melt in your mouth, you know. And I, I'm really thankful for uh, having friends like Robbie and went out there and was able to catch that tuna and share it with us. So, anyway, uh, yeah, y'all, you've got to try that. You know, I'm going to try, try to get some more tuna from them so we can uh, do another video with some of this tuna anyway. So, uh, Thank y'all. Please like my video, sub my channel. God bless. Thank y'all.